Recently, I mowed all the trails in my dad's woodlot using the brush hog on the Ford 1700, and I realized that the clutch needs to be adjusted. The friction points get just a bit high up, and I don't have a lot of free play in the pedal. So I'm gonna adjust the clutch today and get that back into spec. So here's where we're at right now. I'm gonna ease up on the pedal. We'll see where it starts to grab. Right there, and there's all the way out. Specification wise, the manual calls for three quarters to one and three sixteenths inches of free travel. And so this is the free travel, basically right as it gets hard to push is the end of the free travel. So I'm gonna measure that. Okay, so right about there, we're looking at about six and five eighths, and at the end of the free travel, we're at about six. That should be at least three quarters of an inch. Now, I prefer to have more travel when I first adjust this, because as the clutch wears, essentially you're gonna end up with less free travel in the pedal. So I would prefer to take this all the way up to an inch of free travel and uh, go with that. You're supposed to check this every 50 hours. It's something that I kind of just end up doing by feel. And when I notice that my friction point's getting a little high or close to the pedal being released, then I deal with it. But in general, you can go quite a while without needing to adjust this. I would say it's probably been three, 400 hours since I've messed with it. So, you know, not something that needs to be adjusted all the time, but it is something you are supposed to check every 50 hours. And it's that free travel. So you can just measure that quick and easy. When it comes to the actual adjustment, this rod here is threaded right there where it grabs the arm that goes in to actually move the clutch. So you end up threading that and changing the amount of length on this. Looking under the tractor here, this is the rod that threads up front. This right here is the clutch pedal back to this shaft. And of course there's springs on it. So if I pull on the clutch, you can see that as I pull the clutch down, that rod gets pulled back and that's what disengages the clutch. Now to do this, there's nothing threaded here. This cotter pin comes out and this cotter pin is way too long for this application. So I'm gonna change that for a different one in the process. And when I have this out of the way, I'm also gonna grease this. There's a grease fitting right here. While I'm here, I'm gonna hit that. So what you do is you pull this cotter pin the rod comes out and then you turn the rod and it adjusts or threads into the front. You can only do intervals of one full turn. And the idea here is you wanna sneak up on it. So I'm gonna work it one turn at a time and see what that gives me in terms of that measured free play. Now, another element of this is which way we need to turn this rod. If we were to thread it in, we would be shortening the rod, which would pull on the clutch. In other words, it would do the opposite of what we want because it would start to actually disengage that clutch. So what we wanna do is loosen this to lengthen this rod a little bit, which is gonna let that spring back. And then we're gonna get a little bit more free travel here in our pedal. So we're gonna take this and do one turn at a time and then see what effect that gives us here at the pedal. This was a what was on hand at the time solution. That cotter pin was so twisted, I had a devil of a time getting it out. All right, now, when I pull that out of there, the clutch actually relaxes or the spring pulls the rod back, which you just saw. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a turn. So that is now one full turn looser. And we're gonna slip that back in and I'm gonna remeasure that free play and see if it's comfortably within spec. If not, we can try another turn, but another turn might be too much. So let's see where we're at. Okay, so we've got our tape measure back in here. The end of it's just resting on the support for the foot plate there. So we're measuring six and five eighths. And if we push, now my free travel takes me all the way to five and five eighths. All right, so that's an inch. And that's about perfect. So you can see that if you had three quarter inches and you adjusted one turn on your clutch rod, you would basically go to one and three sixteenths. So we basically jumped from having just five eighths of free travel to having pretty much a full inch. Given that, I'm not gonna bother with doing another turn because if I put another turn on this, it's gonna be too much. It's always a good idea to have extra cotter pins on hand for stuff like this when it comes up. Not a bad thing to have in your toolbox if you have a toolbox on your tractor too. All right, we'll grease that and we're all set. There's no question that's better. We'll put the machine back to work. <laughs> 